and welcome back to episode 2 of Simulation Protocol 2. As is always Rock here. <laughs> Simulation Protocol 2. That's quite a mouthful. But we have moved our way over to Intersection 1. We've got all our stuffs sorted out into our chest. Hopefully we'll continue growing these chests as we're going. But we'll see. Um, I went ahead and farmed a bit of carrots in a little bone meal farm. So I got... Some extra carrots here, some carrots on me. So we should be good for a little bit. Uh, now, the first thing I wanted to mention before we get into our first area of Intersection 1 <laughs> is my gripe with these types of uh, potion spawners in the middle of a... Uh, in the middle of a uh, <laughs> intersection. Because they're very, very annoying. It's very noisy. And I have a gripe with that. It would be nice if there was a much smaller proximity and you had to be really close in order for it to work. But uh, I just wanted to point that out, that it was my, my, my gripe with it. Um, okay, so first area we'll be going into today is the Everlasting Sacrifices. It is the orange wool, orange, purple, magenta, which is the first in order places that we need to go uh, okay oh what kind of pure hell are we gonna get ourselves into though the map hasn't been bad so far so I'm not too not too worried what is this um Okay, it looks safe. Grab you. You. Alright. That's a little paranoid there. <laughs> Seems something out of place there. Why do they why do I tend to make orange bull areas lava themed? Who knows? It works. I tend to see, I think from what I've seen, a lot of people have usually have some form of lava in their orange areas. Building blocks, some slabs, All right? Uh, but yeah, it seems like a lot of people usually tend to have uh, lava in their orange wools, so it's not you're not too out of place with that. Oh boy! All right, this is going to be an interesting area to say the least. At least it looks like it will be an interesting area. Nice try. But we'll go ahead and continue on through it, and it looks like there's going to be holes in the bridges. We'll uh, try to repair these the best we can as we're going. I like the look of the area so far. Um, overall, I like the look of the area. Uh, I'm not going to worry about leveling the floor too much. I don't think that's something that's necessarily needed. Just making it sure that we don't fall to our deaths. <laughs> that's, that's a much bigger priority. Uh, thirsty, potion of strength, hunger, and strength for three minutes. Not too bad of an item. I'll leave this here for now. I'm going to try, I think, not carrying as much on me. Oh, no! Going through the area. Um, and kind of picking up Ooh. Oh no! Picking up um, stuff as we're kind of exiting the area. I think that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, that will make things a little less uh, a little less dangerous for us as we don't have to worry about potentially dropping something. As we're going, or not dropping something, but uh, dying and dropping stuff. Oh. Where did you shoot from? Down below? Oh. Let me see you there. I'll, uh, I'll wait a second before I deal with you, because I've got... ...friends here to deal with. Huh. Yeah, take it. Alright, perfect. Uh, now... 
I got plenty of good feedback as of last episode's comments regarding Left the Mirror that I had mentioned. Um, we got suggestions that we're saying to play it multiplayer, which I think could be interesting. Um, some of the suggestions being to... One of the suggestions being to get um, Phil back with us for another season of Monumental Victory, which I thought would be a pretty cool idea, too, because I think he's been wanting to join with us again at some point to do another Monumental Victory. And, of course, we always have <laughs> the worst and best times ever playing, a, playing CTMs together. So it's always a possibility there, and it's definitely one I will be taking into consideration um, another, other, other, other suggestions seem to, uh, other comments seem to think that it was a reasonable idea to get a, a reasonable idea to have horses in uh, our playthrough to make things a little bit more, uh, um, a little more smoother, <laughs> run a little bit more smoothly. Um, also, that... Um, what else? There's a cow in here. There's a lot of farm animals. I guess is we could potentially get some farm animals and set up a farm with them. A food farm. Now, I'm not sure if Tika plans to give us um, food resources or many food resources. Or we're kind of on our own as to farming. That's pretty good. We'll grab these as well. Um, not sure if he plans to give us um, a wide assortment of food resources or if we'll kind of have to be on our own and uh, farming it up, so to say. Alright. We'll grab these. But something to keep in mind, we might grab these animals and make ourselves a food or a breeding, breeding farm. Haven't fully decided, but it is an idea. Um, what else? So those were the ideas that I had seen in last com uh, last episode's comments regarding uh, regarding doing. Uh, oh, and there was another one. Fast forwarding um, through a lot of the areas that uh, kind of the wilderness, which. I don't know if I'll necessarily do that, um, seeing as if I do the horse route, that will, in turn, fast forward it up quite a bit. Uh, but it is something to keep in mind when our with our going. All right. So it looks like behind these circle stone bricks we have spawners. Good to note. All right. I'm a bit wandering around at this point, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm going a right route. But I'm assuming they all kind of loop around to each other. And that's an arrow that I want. A couple arrows that I want. Nope. Okay. Just in darkness. It looked a bit odd and out of place with that uh, bit of dark there. Alright. Perfect, perfect. This isn't going too bad. I was a little bit worried about the bridges on this. Um, just because... Okay, I think this is, for the most part, a dead... Well, sort of a dead end. Looks like it's sort of like a collapsed part. Now, do I want to investigate over here? I kind of do. Anything over here? Aha! Robust leather hat. Proj 2, unbreaking 2. Well, that's much better than we've got. Which is our base leather set of gear. So the more the merrier. What else would I like to see? I would like to see some coal. Because we don't have a whole lot of coal at base. I think there might have been some coal around that we need to go farm. I'd have to look. Um, but I did grab a whole ton 
of wood. Ah! Whole ton of wood from the first wool area. So we have close to two stacks of wood, I think, right now. So maybe we could turn some of that wood into charcoal. That's always a possibility. All right, pigs. I'll be back probably for you eventually. We'll see. I haven't fully decided yet. Take you. Grab as much stuffs as I can. That way we'll make things easier for us later. As well. Ah! God. We'll have it all. Okay. Damn spider. <laughs> Trying to ruin my day. Alright. Get back up here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, these dark, dark walls are going to get me killed one of these days. Okay. Back up the staircase. Going into this other part we haven't been to yet. <clears throat> and there goes our wooden sword with sharpness on it, which I'm a little sad to see that go. New sword? Well, it's something. And a little bit of coal, too. We can get a little bit... Oh, we don't have wood. All right, well. was a nice little bit of coal. Oh, what are you? You're new. Oh. Oh, it's not be friend behind us, too. The hell is that thing? An abomination. I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. And especially seeing as we already have a brewing stand. I'm not too, too in need of a, uh, words, where's they with me? Not too in need of a blaze rod. So I'm not going to worry about that. All right. This is probably another spawner. Part. Nope, it's a pig. All right. Kind of seeing what Tika is doing here. He's giving us all these farm animals that will probably end up doing breeding ourselves, and that looks like something. There's another one over there, too, so maybe not. Another pig area. No pig. You can't get out. Pig! No, no! No! Up or down? Uh, let's look up first. Okay, and that keeps going that way. Um, I feel that redstone block is something. I feel those two. Oh, well, there's a third one. Uh, maybe that one's not something. But I feel that redstone block up there is something. Potentially. So we'll probably have to investigate that when we get a chance, much like everything else. I hear you walking towards this guy. There you go. Let's get back to our crit crittiness. It's not something I've been worrying about too much, but it... Oh, God! Oh, no! Um, I think I could kind of stop doing that a little bit to some extent with um, because of Ragecraft too, just because our weapon was so good <laughs> that I didn't really have to worry about uh, needing to crit that often, just because us critting wasn't going to kill the mob very much faster. Alright, we'll keep on moving our way around. Lighting up as we go. Filling the bridge in as we go. Nice, very peaceful area thus far. Very calm and slow paced. I guess we're slowly building up the difficulty as we go versus some uh, large spikes early on, I guess. 
Where does that go to? Does that go to anywhere? Doesn't look like it. We'll peek around the corner over here and take a look. No, I'm not seeing it going anywhere. Alright. Um, I needed to go back up here. Uh, you bring an ass, Tika. Oh. I guess that's the fallen... Fallen bridge. Oh. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm blocking you off. Oh, that almost ended on our death. Oh. Ah, uh, there's a... I see what the flame bow is for. I don't know what kind of spawner you are. But I'm going to preemptively shoot you down. Come on. Really? Rock, what happened to your aim? Is there something it's hitting or something? Or is that a fake? I'm missing something. It's hitting something. Cheeky bastard. Something's odd there. It looked like it hit that a few times. Unless it's a fence post or something. What the hell? Something's odd there. Oh god, no! Ugh. Unless the rain is like putting out the arrow or something. Which, is that even possible? I didn't realize that before. Oh boy. There's some cow up there. I think. I think the rain is putting out our arrows. It definitely looks like. Right? That's something new. I didn't know that before. Note to self. Rain extinguishes flame arrows. Could you stop raining, please? If you would be uh, so kind. There we go. I was like, I can't, <laughs> my aim can't be that bad. I haven't, I've, pretty proficient with the arrow. The bow and arrow. Apparently, rain can extinguish about flame bows. That is new to me. And I'm probably not the only one that uh, did not know that. You. More of you. Some of you. Hellish leather tunic. Fire prop too. Um, as mine's about to break here soon, I'm also switched out. Ooh, I've got cool 38 levels. I kind of feel like I should use it. Hopefully we don't die, and I'll use it back at base to try to repair some stuff, and I am out of supplies for torches. Ah, hell. Well, there's the, the wool box. So we're pretty close 
be nice if we could find some wood or sticks in this area. It does not appear like it will be the case. All right, looks like the rest of this area will be in the utter darkness of no torches. But it shouldn't be too bad, right? Right? <laughs> oh, this is going to go terrible. Okay. Looks like we have Skelly Spawner over here. Okay. There's probably another Skelly over there. Let's get some level going there. Start bridging our way over. And it looks like there's another path down there. So maybe there's a path we missed. It looks like there's another path we missed. All right. We'll have to find out how to get down to that. I bet that has the uh, building blocks we need. Or not building blocks, the, the wood we need. Okay. We're getting closer. I'm pretty confident we're going to run into something skelly here soon. Maybe blazes. But as long as we have a nice, secure pathway, I don't think we're going to have to worry too, too, too much. Yeah, there's Blaze. Oh, there's a skelly! Or maybe it's the, um... No, I was going to say, maybe the rain put out the TNT, but I don't think that's the case. Don't think that's the case at all. At all? Okay, one spawner down. We have a blaze spawner up there that we're going to have to deal with. Alright, blaze spawner dealt with. We have the other spawner over there that I'll probably want to take out. Yeah, see, my my aim's not that bad. <laughs> Why am I having such a challenging time hitting that TNT? Unless, like I thought, rain puts out the flame on an arrow, which is definitely, definitely news to me. I might have to do some research on that, because that is definitely something I've not experienced before. Ooh. All right. Boom! Orange wool! Perfect, perfect. Now to, the question becomes, how do I get down to there? Where is that? Um. Woo! Um. Huh. I'll have to investigate that. I think the big first big priority would be getting back to base and dropping off the orange wool and what supplies we have now before we worry too much about um, finding that out, which I believe probably that path right there. Well, maybe I'll take a little detour. Just a little bit of a detour. What's the worst that can happen? Aside from everything. Okay, we have a path down there, which looks like we've been to. How do we get over there? Up through that. Can I make that jump? I think I can. Ah! Just a little bit of a detour. Okay, I think there was supposed to be a pathway. Well, 
Loro, I should say, Loro Wise, there would hypothetically be a pathway there. So that's a very odd mob, to say the least. Nice try, Tika. I know what that, that was there for. Try to punch us from the back into sadness, despair. Okay, obviously a spider spawner right there. Where right here? I don't know. I'll try to keep on moving. Okay. I bet that hole right there falls down to lava. Should I be running around with out of care in the world without torches? No, I shouldn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. But you know what? I'm wrong. <laughs> I make lots of terrible mistakes. Ooh. Keep going, filling in the holes as we're going. Oh, God. Ooh. Where's the creeper spawn? It's somewhere. I don't want to deal with that, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, God, no. Um. Oh, screenshot. Let's cry box for a second. As I take a gander at this stuff. We'll regen in the meantime. And I will take a slab like so, so we don't have to worry about mobs getting to us. Let's combine our blocks together, trying to make as much space as we can. Regen for a minute 20. Absorption for 45, that's pretty good. Shark 2, Fire Shark 2, Unbreak, or Fire Shark 1, Unbreaking 2, that's pretty good. More bones, which is good. And Spider Eyes. Awesome! This was a profitable section, cross section. Uh, let's go back this way. There we go. I don't want to have to run through that part again. <laughs> Off chance that there's a creeper spawner hidden somewhere in there. Like there's a spider spawner hidden somewhere over here. Let's get out of here. I have more, no more need to be here. Oh, God! Whew. All right. Things could be worse. Could be much worse. But I do think it is time to get out of here. Get back to where we belong. Somewhere safer. <laughs> Nothing sneak up behind me. Thank you. Now, is this lead out to where we need to be? Which I'm glad I'm glad I'm leaving now because we're out of torches. And this is the perfect opportunity to get back to base. Is this the entrance? We're close. I think we're close. All right, let's keep following the staircase. And I 
think it will lead us to where we need to be, which is that way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not today, skeleton. Not today. All right. It looks like we have found and completed. We well, found the orange wool. Completed the orange area. Um, there's ooh, farm animals that we can come back to. Nab. Probably that would be an off-screen duty. Uh, that one's probably going to take a bit of time to complete. Um, let me go ahead and... Ooh, our armor's gone. Ooh, what is this? Maelstrom's boots. Gives a small speed boost. Well, plus four max health. Get a small... Well, I bet those were the, uh, the guys that were carrying the blaze on them. Well, might have been a good idea to keep, to keep them around. Maybe. Anyways, let me drop, divvy up the stuff into the chest, and we'll, we'll look at the time and see what's going on from there. So I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I sorted out my stuff, and then I accidentally threw one of my uh, Splash 2 potions. So a Splash 2 hunger potion. Was it Splash 2 hunger? It's the L2 hunger, I think. Something like that. Whatever that other potion was. And I cried a little bit inside. Uh, but I think... That is going to be a good time to end the episode. I also went ahead and repaired our Maelstrom boots using up a bit of our XP that we had. Um, and I need one more level of XP before I can um, combine our Power 2 bow with an Unbreaking. But I think that is a good time to end the episode for today. I mean, we got our Orange Wool. So we are made some good progress today. Uh, next time we'll be going into the into the uh, Yellador complex, uh, but I think before next time I'll probably go ahead and uh, cook up some charcoal from the where is it? the plethora of wood here. I'll probably cook up like a stack of charcoal, um, and I think we'll be good with that. That will at least last us a, a little bit of time. But I think that is it for today. We're all running about 30-ish minutes, so we, I don't think we get really much else done before we run out of time. So that will do it for today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!